welcome to the Boston Roll channel. If you want to support my daily Eternal Magic offerings while getting amazing perks like the Boston Roll Discord community, have me play your deck on the channel, or list inside more guides before tournaments, check out the Patreon or YouTube membership program. This channel is possible because of these amazing sponsors. Check them out, all their links are in the video description. As always, thanks for being here. Let's go play some Magic. Welcome back to the Boston Roll channel. Today, I'm playing Legacy, but before we talk about that, I want to talk about last week's Taking the Initiative for Trans Lifeline Drive. The final numbers are in, and we raised $25,168.69, nice, for Trans Lifeline. And we had a match running in the background by Mental Misplay, up to 25k he would match, and that brings our total to $50,168.69. An incredible showing from the Magic community, from the Boston Roll community, and from the communities of the affiliated creators on this project. We unlocked all of the stretch goals, all of the rewards. We had to invent stretch goals. Our goal for this campaign was 10k, by the way, and we got that in the first day and just keep kept having to increase the goal. One of the milestones to unlock was an extra Boston Roll video. So sometimes, sometime in the next six to eight weeks, there will be a Saturday video. I already have the person who supplied the deck lined up. Look forward to that. You all earned it. I want to spend a small amount of time and energy addressing the folks who did not like the cause we were raising money for. Of course, there were going to be some of those people. Trans Lifeline wouldn't need to exist if there weren't people out there full of hate and fear in their hearts. And I'm pretty stoked to say that there was only like 20 or 30 of them all week long. I lost like 20 something subscribers. There were probably like 15 or 20 shitty comments that got muted forever from the channel. And that's less than half of a half of a percent of the viewers I got last week versus raising $50,000. Really proud of that ratio of the community that we've built here. And if that's all that was lurking and now they're gone, all the better for it. We got 50K headed Trans Lifeline's way five times what our goal was and very proud of this work. Thank you all and look forward to the extra Saturday video sometime by the end of the year. All of that said, I'm also playing Legacy today. Patreon subscriber DoomDG wanted me to play a try hard, like serious deck that would be in my consideration for Eternal Weekend. And among those decks that I haven't already played is what I've called Greedy Grixis. This is basically Grixis Delver but also Questing Druid. Surprise, there's a grain card in here. The Tempo Days Wasteland Shell has a lot of ways you can go with it right now. And one of the biggest divergences is Grixis versus Teamer. And the Teamer shells, I think they're mostly off trying to be Beanstalk decks. I think they realize they're not very good at that. And Questing Druid has really come into its own as the card advantage slash threat slot for those decks. But Delver Tempo players are always looking for more ways to get card advantage. That's kind of their whole thing. They know their deck is on the edge of being broken at all times if they can find a way to draw cards in it. And Questing Druid, the adventure part of it, is red. And then the Questing Druid, the actual green creature, just stays on an adventure until, you know, you get around to it. There's no hurry to have access to green mana. There's not a single other green card in the deck. There's no Carpet of Flowers. There's no Force of Vigor. There's no Light from the Loam. We're really not doing anything with green mana except casting the creature part of Questing Druid. But Seek the Beast, which is the card advantage spell, can be played off red mana, which is right in the, the Grixis pie anyway. In the wake of the experimental... Wait, what was that called? card called? Expressive Iteration. <laughs> Experimental Iteration. Expressive Iteration ban? How quick we forget. In the wake of the EI ban, people were trying all sorts of weird stuff to get card advantage in Delver Shells, including things like Reckless Impulse, which is basically the text of Seek the Beast, but you don't get this creature attached. It is not free, because there will be hands probably where we have a one lander with Tropical Island and Dragon's Ray Channeler, so calling it free is foolish, but it's a low cost in the Grixis base to just put a couple of drops in your deck and get this pretty powerful threat after you've already cashed in your core wedge card advantage spell in Seek the Beast. I think this deck's pretty cool. I have seen Delver of Secrets itself, notably not in this deck, in and out of these shells. People not sure if they want to play that card or not. 
And this one says, no, we're just going to draw more cards, go bigger. Questing Druid is a bigger threat. Your days, the Wasteland Nut Draws get worse, but any sort of mid-range or control game gets better. And it's at the cost of putting some Tropical Islands in your deck. The rest of the shell doesn't really need any introduction. Orchid Bowmaster, Murktide Region, Force of Will, you know what it is. I personally am very high on Wasteland and Orcish Bowmaster in the format, which is not a hot take at all. Obviously, these cards are great. And my Eternal Weekend deck is likely to contain both of these cards. I just don't know which shell I'm going to put them in. And this one is live for it. We'll see how this league goes and see how I feel about it at the end. This is Greedy Grixis from Doom DG. Let's get into it. I'm on the play in round one. Double Dragon's Rage Channeler and a Force of Will. I'll keep this. I wish that one of these cards was Ponder, but I'm going in. If I get two DRCs into play and then force something, that's kind of like casting Ponder. Surveil two. Send the squad. I don't really care about getting Wastelanded here. I have a replacement land and nothing to really spend my mana on anyway. A forest. Okay. Hey, my guy. Never didn't have it. Ponder, C5 cards. Looter Delta into the graveyard. Scalding Tarn into the graveyard. Wasteland, another Ponder, and a Scalding Tarn. Decks that lead on basic forest, no play. This could be lands. I have to decide right now if I think that Orcish Bowmaster or Wasteland is a more important thing to have access to on turn two, or turn three, next turn. I guess I can Ponder into the Wasteland if it's an emergency. I'll take the Ponder now, put the Fetch Land on top. And I can just take my time over multiple turns and have both of the things. And no play off the forest. It's probably not elves or depths or some zenith style mana dork deck. Oh. Oh. Uh, what? I genuinely don't know what deck does this. Okay. I mean, Force or Thoughtseize resolves. Basic forest lotus petal with a scrubland in between them. I have no idea. Is, this, is there like an Abzan scam deck? They took my Ponder, which turns on Orcish Bowmaster. If I shove the Murktide here, which I can do, then I don't have Force of Will anymore. And against this Lotus Petal deck, I feel like that's the thing I want. Is Four Color Initiative a thing? I'm just trying to think what deck would have Lotus Petal in it. I don't think a Lauren would do this. I'm going to shuffle away the Wasteland and add to my board here. Ping you for one upstairs. Okay, force backup now. I can shove the Murktide and still force of will. The Thoughtseize plus Lotus Petal makes me think this is a combo deck. And I'm just making Murktide as large as possible. I could have left a land in the graveyard for Delirium. Okay, so the Veil of Summer can trip. And then Veil of Summering now means that they have another one because they've seen force of will in my hand. Or they think I just got off force blue card. A Thoughtseize Lotus Petal, two basic lands, and Veil of Summer in the main. There's definitely some sort of storm kill headed our way. They are dead on board, though. Okay, if I force this, I just build storm for them. If they're a wheel deck of any kind, I'd rather force it. I'm going to let it resolve. Uh, I, I don't think it helps if I force here. The only way that would help is if they go Lions of Diamond Echo of Eons right now, which... Could happen. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did I walk into it? It also might be relevant that Veil of Summer only puts the bubble over the things that were in play when you played the Veil of Summer. If they go like Hull Breacher, Wheel of Fortune right now, or uh, Echo of Eons, I can kill the Hull Breacher with Bowmaster triggers. If they have Beseech the Mirror, I'm just dead here, though. Just squeaky clean. Way out of that. Infernal Tutor. Five mana in the pool. Yeah, they can Infernal for Beseech, and then I lose. Okay. I have no idea what's going on in this deck that their mana base looks like this. I mean, all the Storm spells make perfect sense, but how did we get here? A guy as well. I am dead if they choose to kill me. I'm going to let them try to mess up, though, and make them click through it. Oh, are they playing Brindelight? I'm just trying to think why you would have this mana base. And Brindelight for Beseech is a thing in low lower power formats, but this seems like a really hard way to get triple black. Do I actually win this game if I keep the wasteland and clear the scrub? 
they had the lotus petal anyway. Maybe not. Okay, they figured it out. Interesting construction of the mana base there. Graft Digger's Cage, Null Rod, Force of Negation, Counterbalance, Surgical Extraction, things that are less good, Lightning Bolt. And with that mana base, any juke is possible. Like they could do actually anything. They could just be like five color humans after board. I, I don't know, uh, but I am still going to treat this like it's a Beseech Storm deck. Days can be useful. Is it worse than this other stuff? Brazen Borrower. I don't really want to go down on blue cards if I can avoid it. There's a lot of cards I can bring in here, though. Maybe I only bring in one Surgical because I have the Cage and the Rod. And the Cage can sit in play where it can't get Thought Seized. Pyroblast really only hits Cantrips in their deck. Though Song of Creation is a juke that Beseech decks are on sometimes. I think I'm going to shave a Questing Druid and a Bowmaster and only play two Pyroblasts. How about that? It's not necessarily pretty, but it makes sense to me. I think it's the best thing I can do here. On the play, of course, with double force, double blue card days, I will keep. I need a threat, but this hand is pretty good at not dying. And Ponder is pretty good at looking for stuff. There's my threat. Here's a bunch of lands to cast my stuff with. I'm going to draw the underground sea. No, I actually want the delta. Okay. I'm going to draw the delta, leave the questing druid on top, and we've got a plan. The reason I thought about C for a second is if they do randomly, like, they need all blue to Delta. I could mitigate that a little bit, but I actually need red mana next turn. I'm not going to daze a ponder when I know I have a two drop coming. I would have still had red mana with the blue to Delta, but then I don't have another shuffle to go with my other cantrips. Just keeping the shuffles flush makes sense to me. They did not shuffle their ponder, and I'm just going to pass. My plan is to seek the beast in the end step or in response to a thought seize. There's the swamp. Lotus petal. They can play Veil of Summer here if they choose to. Oh, well, there's that. Um, Daze is looking a little sus here. I can actually quest or seek the beast now because you can cast these spells until the end of your next turn and there's no restrictions on it. If I hit a force of will now, this is a good spot to use it. I hit Brazen Bar and another Questing Beast. All right, not helpful. Force of Negation. Exile. Do I want to give up on the Days, or do I want to give up the Ponder? I'm going to give up on the Days. Let's hope they can't send it again. Yeah, that Brazen Borrower kind of stinks. That one's a brick. Ball Ritual. Off you go. Lion's Eye Diamond. Yep. Another one. Infernal Tutor. Spending one of the LEDs. Spending both of the LEDs. I'm just going to force this in case they have Mind's Desire. That card kind of fell out of favor after being awesome. All right, they're done. But it is a card that you could still play as a one-of to beat greedy Force of Will gamers. I think I might actually want both Surgicals because that's a, an interactive effect that I have that's not affected by Veil of Summer. And if they go through their graveyard, they probably have lines that don't go through the graveyard, but if they do... I just want to be able to do something. I'm going to shave a Brazen Borrower. I know it's reducing my blue count. No, actually, I think Bowmaster is worse than just a blue card here. I like the flash side of Bowmaster, but they've shown me Veil of Summers in the main in large numbers. That mitigates Bowmaster quite a bit. And just making sure I have blue cards to pitch to my forces is really important here. Okay, uh, this hand, I will keep it. Not exactly. Blazing, but it does have the surgical. Oh, did they choose the draw? What just happened? Yeah, they chose the draw. Fascinating. Okay, weird. I did not notice that when I kept the hand. I still keep the hand, but now Daze is on when it didn't have to be. Weird. That's some deep tech. They they must have determined through their their life and experience that having an extra card versus blue decks is worth it. I hope I get to day something important now that they gave me this window to do so. I'm going to brainstorm here because I have the Lorien revealed for the, the cheeky shuffle if I need to do that. And oh boy, do I need to do that. Put back. I think it's Bowmaster. And I want the DRC. 
I want all the blue cards. I want the interactive cards. Process of elimination, questing druids out. Upkeep, cycle for volcanic island. Fresh draw, it's a land. Dragons Reach Channeler, get in there. Days and surgical to survive the turn with. Kraken of Fetch. Basic planes, what the hell? Prismatic ending, suddenly. Okay. Opponent is definitely in the lab over there. Just on some, some world class stuff. I could ponder here, try to find some action. I think that's better than just hold up three mana Brazen Borrower. Leaving up red because that is the more common color of things in my deck. Here's this Dragon's Rage Channeler as a reward. Just a little treat. The land gives me three card types. Burden Catacombs. This is time for the basic forest to show up. Tropical Island. Couldn't afford a basic forest. Brainstorm happens. Me without a Bowmaster. They are deep in the tank on this Brainstorm. It's been on the stack for like a full minute now. Important to note that because they fetched Basic Plains, Basic Swamp to start the game, or they only fetched one of them, but because they had those lands, this Brainstorm is a no-shuffle situation unless they suddenly have Troll of Casa Doom or cast an Infernal Tutor or something this turn. If I'm about to lose, I'm going to cast the Surgical Extraction no matter what. Or if I'm about to win, I'm going to cast the Surgical basically no matter what. I would like to see their deck. I want to know what they're doing with all these basic lands and five-color mana base. Because I am fascinated. Another ending. That's fine. I'm not going to spend two dazes and pick up two lands to try to make that happen. I will daze the thoughts easier. Ooh, a dark ritual. I didn't daze that. I hope I'm not punished. Infernal Tutor. Uh, that's tricky. Because that is the shuffle, and they revealed double LED. So they have two of those now. Do I fetch green? Does that matter? Do I just make sure that my... Red is, yeah, I want to make sure my core colors are set up here. The Tropical Island just doesn't matter unless I draw a Druid. And if I draw a Druid, I get the red card to see more first. The Seek the Beast. Okay, I have five spells in my hand and I can cast all of them. I think I'm actually going to Surgical Extract Infernal Tutor on my turn. Let's just make sure none of those are happening. And I'm doing it now before they can cantrip off Veil of Summer. Their hand is Dark Ritual, two LEDs. Okay, here's the deck. Screenshot, everybody. What do we got? Two Beseech the Mirror. One Carpet of Flowers. Three Brainstorm. Finale of Promise. That's more graveyard stuff. There was a Mind's Desire. Figured it out. One Silence. One Mycosynth Gardens. What is going on over here? Okay, well, they don't have a Juke on Beseech. It's Gaia's Will, or it's Build Enough Storm Beseeching into Beseech. That Tendrils is lethal on its own. They do have two Tendrils. Okay, uh, I actually feel really good about that Surgical Extraction. Grab the screenshot real quick so I don't forget in case we get into a spot where I need to solve a puzzle. And, okay, it's your turn. You have a handful of mana. Unfortunately, a handful of mana lines up extremely well against what I'm doing, which is dazing them. I can surgical the, the Dark Ritual, if I so desire. Oh, Questy D. I can do this now. I think I am going to do this now. Seek the Beast right now in the main phase. I hope to find a land and a spell I could play. Hell yeah. Land and... I don't know which one is which. This one's on an adventure. This one is in exile. Okay. I am just going to play the, the creature side of the one that is... In exile for this turn only. Attack them with Brazen Borrower. And I am going to Surgical. Do Am I going to Surgical the Dark Ritual? I mean, they have to go through the graveyard. All right, I'm passing. Just going to send it. Not Surgicaling Ritual makes days worse, but Surgicaling it makes Beseech better. Wasteland, what's up? Get them. Okay. They're floating green. You got it, homie. I'm going to cast Questing Druid. And then I'm going to go to combat. They burned off their green. They don't have an Abrupt Decay here. I didn't cast a blue card from which they could cantrip off Veil. I think I do. Oh, I was about to say I fire off double days on Dark Rich or on the Thoughtseize there, but that's not even true anymore. Now I force a will. Let's go. Okay, three, four, five, plus 
That puts them to six. Three, four, five, six, seven. I can surgical or daze next turn, and the clock's the same. I don't need to aggressively surgical now to put counters on my creatures. Okay, Force Blue card, Surgical Extraction, and Daze are available to me. They have drawn a lot of cards since I saw their hand last. They are dead on board, so whatever they got has to happen now. I'm going to Force of Will this. They can't Veil of Summer right now. There's the Underground Sea. If they Mind's Desire here, I could be in trouble. Ponder, I don't care about. Surgical and Dark Ritual in response. Any of this doesn't matter because they can writ in response and I don't actually get anything. I just build Storm and lower my resistance to Graveyard Lines. Shuffled the Ponder. Good news. And they're dead. Really weird Storm list, but to see some errors good enough that you can win games even with a weird list. Cool stuff. Questing Druid actually showed up big in the matchup where I was not convinced. I actually boarded one out. That doesn't mean it's good. It means the numbers that I left in did their job. But okay, GG's. Next round. This video is sponsored by Moxfield.com, the easiest way to build magic decks online. Moxfield supports over 30 formats, including Legacy and everything else you'll see on this channel. There's multiple customizations so you can interact with your deck how you want. Views such as text, grid, or stacks, and groupings like type, subtype, color, color identity, even artist. The site offers light mode, dark mode, and so much more. However you want to see your deck, Moxfield can provide it for you. Follow my Moxfield to keep up with the channel and what I'm playing in paper. I'll see you there. I'm on the draw in round two. I'm going to have to mulligan a hand because of the green splash. First punish of the green deck here. And a Grixis hand with Underground Sea, I also mulligan, so it's not like just being pure Grixis would solve this, but having two Tropical Islands in the deck. I'm still playing four Volks though, right? Yeah, there's still four Volks. I think the pure Grixis have three Cs and an extra fetch land over these two Trops. I don't know, maybe the red sources are exactly the same. Still, I'm going to mulligan. This one's better. I'm going to keep it bottom that cursed Tropical Island and... I got Brainstorm and a couple different ways to interact with Lightning Bolt and Wasteland. We'll see if they line up. All right, Questing Druid. A plan's coming together. Land go is fine. Land go favors what I'm trying to do here. I'm fine just hitting my land drops and hanging out too. There's a target for Wasteland. Veteran Explorer. Oh, yuck. We're doing this shit. Gross. All right. Well, there's that. I was going to Wasteland that trap, but now I'm not. I have zero basics in my deck. I think it might be time to seek the beast. Red. Actually, I'm going to commit. Or no, I don't need to commit to a green. Because that doesn't matter. The Questing Druid, I can cast any, any old time. I'm going to get my Grixis set up. And then I'm going to seek the beast. Draw some cards. I don't like the blue mana that they're showing me. They just fetch fetched in response. Brainstorm Murktide. Okay. Uh, can I get a third blue source? Not yet. All right, I have to brainstorm or else nothing else happens here. Okay, brainstorm. I can bolt a bowmaster if they have that, which they do. I can also daze it. That guarantees the land drop. That's even better. Daze the bowmaster. Successfully dazing a veteran explorer deck feels so fucking good. Okay, they had a force. Now I do have to bolt, and this merc died's not going to happen. Okay. This jerk resolves. Are they going to shoot their own veteran explorer? That would be so cool. Yeah, they are. Neat trick. Bolt the bowmaster. The force pitched a Lorien revealed. And I don't have a single basic. Nope. No love there. Brainstorm happens. Brazen borrower, questing druid. I do not believe for a second that this wasteland is going to be important to me for the rest of the game. And... I have my next two lands lined up. I'm going to put back a Lorien Revealed also. And then Underground Sea, Mishra's Bobble. Take a look at their deck. Brainstorm on top. Island Cycle, Lorien Revealed for a Trop. Because I know I don't want to draw my card. And pass. All right, we are in kind of a scary spot. If this Bobble draws Force, I would feel okay. But yeah, they have uh, five mana and a Brainstorm. Attacking for one to start it off. Either channeler. Okay, this is an Aloran deck. They get to draw a card. And they're passing. They have drawn one new card since my Bobble Trigger. I feel like they would have Bowmastered my Bobble Trigger if that was available to them. 
I think I probably just want to put Questing Druid into play. Now Brainstorm gives me an actual creature that I'm excited about. We're up to K. You jerk. Okay, that's gone. At least it's not Bowmaster. They're attacking me for three. Uh-oh. Four mana in the pool. Zenith for three. Well, that's probably not beatable. I'm going to Brainstorm. I have a strong suspicion this is going to be Leovold. You know who's really weird with Leovold? Orcish Bowmaster. Wasteland's out. Brazen Borrowers on top of the deck, and then this has to resolve. Oh, they're just going for Uro, sure. That card's good, too. Everything that comes out of a Zenith for three in Legacy is good. That's the trick. Uh, firing this Brainstorm now before I can double Bowmaster it. Smart. Enragingly smart. Draw for turn. Pass. My plan is double Bowmaster on their turn. And then I can bounce Uro with Brazen Borrower and try to buy some time. Crack and a fetch. Uro coming in. In response to the trigger, I'm going to Bowmaster. Try to kill this Aether Channeler. Put one damage on that successfully. And then fetch again. Underground C. Another one. Hit the Orc Army. Then Uro trigger happens. I get two more of these. They're all going to the dome. I don't think putting six damage on Uro this turn is going to happen. I can seek the beast first, see what happens. Or I can just brace and borrow. What am I hoping would happen if I seek the beast? Yeah, I'm just going to bounce Uro. Put it away. And I'll attack with my six power. Uro in hand is kind of nerve wracking because that's a better spot for it if they're going to allure in combo. And I think seeking the beast on their turn with it. Ripping the chance to hit Force of Will is more important. Like brainstorm plus Seek. Oh wow, they're just pondering into my double Bowmaster. That means they either have it or they really, really don't have it. They're ignoring this or they can't afford to play around it. They did not shuffle the Ponder. Terrifying. Okay. Have it is the answer, it seems. I'm going to Seek the Beast in response. Come on, Force of Will. They are unfortunately showing Veil of Summer. Okay, these are not Force of Wills. Now, is there anything I even can brainstorm into? I don't think so, because Daze doesn't work here. <laughs> Insult to injury. There's the Force. Okay, uh, I guess I have Force of Will in my hand, and nothing to pitch. Aloran resolves. Recruiter of the Guard. Now they can probably deterministically combo out without drawing another card. Recruiter, Recruiter. Arctic Merfolk. Uro, this draw trigger, I can put kills on the two recruiters. I have not actually see, tried to see a Lauren go off into two Bowmasters. Like, I know they can do stuff in response here. I don't know at what point they need to draw more cards and if I can successfully kill a Cavern Harpy or whatever. Like, this can bounce Uro, or they bounce Arctic Merfolk. Okay. More stuff's happening. And I assume they have the win here. I just want to see how it actually works. Okay, Parasitic Strix goes over the top without ever drawing another card. Cool. All right. One card off the Force of Will. If it showed up in the Seek the Beast instead of in the Brainstorm, we would have done it. Pyroblast is solid in this matchup. Grafdigger's Cage turns off Green Sun Zenith, but not really, but not a Lauren. Dismember usually doesn't matter by the time they're doing any kind of allure and stuff. This deck's really scary because if you do something like board in a bunch of force negations against allure and then they just become bug mid-range and beat you that way. Lightning Bolt can disrupt their stuff. Pyroblast hits the Cavern Harpy and the Uro, which both of which are important things. Countering the creature on the stack is important because once it's in play, like we saw that game, they can just move them around pretty freely. Do I want a Surgical versus Uro Counterbalance? I only have two threes in my deck, and three is the, the number I'd need to hit on that. Uh, Days actually looks horrendous versus the Nick Fit deck. I wonder if they have Academy Rector. A Rector is frequently found alongside Veteran Explorer, and Academy Rector for a Lauren is a combo. And I'm getting skinnier on Days, higher on Surgical. Dismember and Cage. Question mark. I guess Cavern Harpy costs two, and I do have a, quite a few of those. I'm boarding them out to make room for more, though. But Counterbalance also costs two. It's, it's net even. Okay, I'm going to try this. I'm not sure if this is 
entirely correct, but it's what we got. Oh, the no-lander. The cursed Lorien revealed no-lander. I'll keep this one. And I'm going to bottom this Merktide region. Oh, this is actually super awkward because here we go. Tropical Island. I cannot cast Dragon's Rage Channel on turn one and Bowmaster on two with this hand unless I draw a land off the top. Should I be bottoming Tropical Island because it doesn't cast my spells anyway? Keep Merktide as a blue card for force? No, I think Bowmaster is worth the keep and the lands. I'm just going to lead on DRC and get it going here. Basic Forest. Been a popular start for my opponents this league. Raisin B. Okay, I'm going to ponder before I make my land drop here. Another ponder. I'll keep that. I don't have a shuffle anyway, so why not enjoy another ponder? I stacked Orcish Bowmaster on top. I'm going to mill that because I can't cast it and I already have one. Ooh, counterbalance with Questing Druid under it. Who's a good number to have there? At least I think it is. I don't know. Uh, maybe I have to shuffle this, but Seek the Beast can dig me out. So if I go Questing Druid on the bottom, Brainstorm, Counterbalance. Don't shuffle. Now there's a Brainstorm on top of my deck. I play Counterbalance next turn. It counters a two drop on their turn. Maybe that's the wrong number, but I'm in there. Cycling Orion. I have three card types in the graveyard. If they fight over Counterbalance, I have Delirium. And if I cast Force of Will, I have Delirium. Rainstorm right now. Safe. I'm going to counterbalance pre-combat. In case they counter it, I want Delirium. I'm not going to mill the Seek the Beast, Questing Druid. I want that there. And we're getting in for one. Force of Will is available. If I need it, Force of Will can also change what's on top of the counterbalance. If I need that, please jam a two-drop. Wall Therapy. Okay. Uh, don't reveal therapy resolves. If they name Force of Will, they can just shred my hand and get a Fenner Explorer in under here. Days. Let's look at the sideboard real quick. Pew 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 pew. There they are, all four of them. And a two drop, a two drop, a two drop, a two drop. Yes. I would like to reveal for counterbalance. Thank you. Green Sun Zenith gone. We did it. Getting paid. I'm gonna seek the beast pre combat. I get a DRC trigger. I'd like to hit my land drop here and then do some stuff. Force of Will into the graveyard because I'm not actually drawing it. I'm seeking it till the end of the turn. That also gives me Delirium. And I hit two cards that I cannot play. Perfect. Grayson Borrower has been gumming up my questing druids this whole league so far. In small sample size, but it's not like EI where you get, just get to keep one of them. If it goes wrong, I was just two cards gone. And they have seen my hand. Nobody knows what's on top for counterbalance right now. It's a great mystery of life. Pretty sure there's not a four drop though, if they just shovel Lauren. I do I have any? Zero fours in this whole 75. Okay. A brainstorm. Come on. This is the, the highest number. There's a bowmaster on top. Twos are are not safe right now. And we all know it. That means they can't cavern harpy. That also means I'm drawing a card that I cannot cast. Abrupt decay. Okay. Uh I'm not going to reveal the Bowmaster and reveal my shame. I think I got a brainstorm here. There's no room for this questing piece or questing druid. I'm over here missing land drops and junk. Brainstorm, leave the red up. Leave the land on top. I want that. I want access to Bowmaster. Okay, suddenly from no lands to way too many of them. Put back the Scalding Tarn and the Volcanic Island. I'm showing Bowmasters here. And if I Bowmaster first, then. They can Bowmaster mine. If they're just passing the turn. I like that. I'm totally cool here just getting in for 12s. Or getting in for 3s. They're at 12. If they just play nothing, I'm not even going to fetch. I'm just going to draw my land, play Questing Druid. Endurance. Well, that one's annoying. That messes up my whole shit. Uh, it's fine. Okay, Dragon's Rage Channeler is sleeping now. See you later, Graveyard. Now I actually need the... Questing Druid. Get on in there, big fella. I'll be bigger than that Endurance pretty soon. This Endurance can sacrifice to Cabal Therapy. That's actually awful, because they know about the Force of Will. Oh, no. Yeah, I could just lose here. They're doing it. It's happening. Okay, if I force this, and I hate this, but 
I think it's required. They know my hand. They know the force of will. They know the bow master. Just know everything. Build this volcanic island that I knew was there. Counter that force. If they Aloran, I can play Orcish Bowmasters at instant speed. And they know I have two of them. I think they've seen all of these cards. Yeah, they saw this one off of their first therapy, and they saw this one off of my counterbalance. All right, it's go time. You know that resolves. Eternal Witness. Gross. Getting back Endurance. Yep. That is certainly a big booty. Aether Channeler. That resolves. Choosing to draw a card. I'm going to cast Orcish Bowmaster without paying its mana cost. We're going to Cavern Harpy in response. I'm going to play the other Bowmaster without paying its mana cost. We know Endurance and one mystery card in their hand. The Bowmaster kills Aether Channeler. Oh, uh, they had the fucking Merfolk. All right, yeah, they, they just have it. They are completely over the top of me, and I have no outs. They just went over the top here. Yep, they're bouncing their Eternal Witness, and now they just win. Okay, yeah, they needed those multiple layers of protection, but they saw my hand twice. It's not like they were like, oh no, a second Bowmaster? How can I beat that? Like, they knew they had to beat. So, GG's. Aluren is freaking sweet. I love this deck. You come here to level up at Magic. To level up as a software engineer, check out the new YouTube series Dev Better, hosted by the founder of 7 Factor Software and Magic player, Jeremy Duvall. 7 Factor's small teams of high-performing engineers build custom mobile apps, APIs, and highly scalable systems for Fortune 500 companies and ambitious startups with great ideas. If you'd like to hire 7 Factor, or maybe join their team, contact them through their website at 7factor.io. And don't forget to subscribe to 7 Factor's YouTube for every episode of Dev Better. I'm on the play in round three. I'm going to keep this hand with Dragon's Rage Channeler and Days in it. Once again, Tropical Island is my second land with this black card as the play I want to make second turn. It's worked out pretty well so far. Like I found my lands and stuff when I need them. I got this brainstorm to look, but I think Grixis would have just curved out. And we're weighing that against what Questing Druid has done for us this league, which is not nothing. That card is pretty solid. Brazen Borrower. I think I'm just going to Tropical Island and attack. Like, I don't know if I'm going to need Lightning Bolt here. If they turn out to be a combo deck, I might just Bolt Face. I could also hardcast Days on this Brainstorm right now and maybe just Shadow Realm them. I can also Brainstorm, or Float Blue Brainstorm and then Days, or Brainstorm first. And then Days can clear a card I don't want. I think I am going to Brainstorm and then Days here. Questing Druid into the Graveyard. Wasteland looks kind of bad right now, and Brazen Borrower, I'll take that next turn. Just imagine if this Tropical Island was fucking Underground Sea, though. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, we Bowmaster a Brainstorm there with Days back up, you're dead. The game is over, no matter who you are. I'm not usually that aggressive on early Brainstorms like that, but it felt right in the moment. Ball Ritual, uh-oh. Oh, we're Doomsday, that's fun. Okay, Doomsday resolves. Probably would have been nice to taste that. <laughs> you dumbass. And I just put away this wasteland. Probably would have been good. They go to 9 off the Doomsday. I bolt them to 6. Attack them to 5. What's missing from my graveyard? Artifact or Sorcery? Among card types I play. My top card's Brazen Borrower. I know I'm binning that. I just need some velocity at this point. I think, actually... My best draw is Bobble. Because they go to 9. I bolt them to 6. Bobble gives me Delirium. I attack them to 3 and then Bowmaster them to 2. And then they have to navigate this Doomsday Pie without drawing any extra cards in one turn. Okay, we've got Veil of Summer, Thassa's Oracle. That means there's 2 in the main. 2 Veils. Lorian Revealed. Ponder's Forces. 1, 2, 3. 4 Force of Wills accounted for. Okay. Gonna bolt you in the end step. In this brazen borrower, you take three. Unless you want to daze this. Ooh, you do. Cool. Okay. I like seeing that interaction gone. Now, like, Force of Will's a great draw. Naturally, I could never. Couldn't be me drawing the card I need. Underground C, Orcish Bowmaster. Just doing it heads up right now. They can't force this, and if they daze it, Again, then they have no land starting their pile turn. Wow, they made a pile that didn't beat Bowmaster. You love to see it. Cool. 
Why is that true, though? I'm, so it must have been a multi-turn pile where combat mattered, because I ping you to 8, I attack you to 7, and then you only have 4 cards in your deck. Even if you draw every single one, you're still at 3. It must have been a multi-turn pile. Even if they cycle Street Wraith for one of the draws, they're at 1. Maybe it was a double Wraith pile. Okay, whatever. Counterbalance, Force of Negation, Pyroblast, all coming in. Lightning Bolt coming out. Some number of Bobbles coming out, probably just all of them. And Brazen Borrower. So I have commented that Brazen Borrower has been gumming up my Questing Druids while also boarding out some number, if not all, of my Bobbles every round. Like These things are related. But I have also been in two rounds where the slow selection of Bobble compared to a blue card for Force, I don't think, is important. Yeah, and Brazen Borrower is the only three that I play. Oh, now I have Force Negation too. So there's four threes that can counterbalance a Doomsday. Yeah, I think I'm just not on Team Bobble. Sometimes this deck ju jukes onto creatures, and then I wish I had some Lightning Bolts, but I got my Brazen Borrowers. Okay, let's go. That was a weird game, because I aggressively dazed a Brainstorm, and then they resolved a Doomsday. But then they dazed my Bolt on their Doomsday turn, so they would have been able to daze my days on their doomsday. And then they died to Orcish Bowmaster, which also would have been dazable. Just a bunch of like guess and be wrong moments. I'm gonna mulligan this no lander. Uh two forces, still no functional lands. Am I cursed for thinking about this? I'm gonna keep. This is risky, but I do have two Lorian reveals that Wasteland turns on. And if they try to shove, I'm just I got the turtle up here. Also if they fetch underground sea I can just blast it. Okay. Island Ponder. I'm jealous. Any blue swords gets Ponder rolling. I'm drawing to a 18, 19, 20 outer right now over the next two draw steps. So I have two slightly better than one out of threes. Well, I just apparently put Questing Druid on top of my deck when I mulligan instead of bottom. Whoops. Someone call a judge. Mulligan procedure error. Brainstorm happens. It's entirely possible I just died this game without doing anything because of my greedy keep. But I could draw any blue source right now, Lauren revealed right now. And we go off to the races. Come on, deck. Uh-oh. Well, opponent knows what kind of hand I kept. It's one full of free permission. They did not shuffle their brainstorm cards. They just like all of them. I hate that. Either that or they don't have a basic swamp and don't want their black source wasted and they have to take their brainstorm cards. As cost of doing business. I do love that. Tropical Island. Okay. That card casts Veil of Summer. Draw for turn. We got days. Shit. Now I can try to wasteland them. Take them off of green. Or I can just discard this Tide Regent and continue threatening their Black Source, which I think they are worried about here. Yeah, I'm going to discard Tide over the days. Though with two dazes, I don't know. It probably doesn't matter much. I'm going to wasteland their black source in the upkeep. They went for the fetch. Now I'm going to try to take them off the color they were trying to hide. Okay. Cycling Edge of Autumn. And it, it's not really ideal. Like, they do get a card off of my wasteland, but also their black source is still gone. Cycling Street Wraith. Emergency meeting. Pass without a black source. Pass without a black source. I don't think I should be forcing these brainstorms, certainly not with green mana up, and we've seen Veil of Summer in their deck. They found it. It's so weird that the opponent who cast six cantrips this game is functioning, while me, who has done nothing, is not. Seven cantrips. You can usually tell who's ahead in a blue legacy mirror by how many cantrips are in someone's graveyard. Though, screw it beats Flood, so if I draw the land, we're cooking. Hey, always had it. Ponder. Bow, 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 bow. Play the Rave Horns. I'm going to shuffle everything that's not a land here, which is all of these things, even that other Ponder. It still only, see one, still only sees one new card. I shuffled and drew Ponder anyway. Another Moto Bug. But now I have Force Force Days available. And they are kind of now in a position where they're not just free rolling development. Where they consider it a way of Doomsday. They already have one, or they don't have the mana to cast it and can't afford to keep it. More likely they already have one. A Delta. Okay. I think I'm going to play Polluted Delta. 
I am representing Orcish Bowmaster, a card that they died to last game, and I will seek the beast if that doesn't happen. Five mana, they can just shove a Doomsday here without the help of any kind of ritual. A Force of Negation, exiling my days. They're also a days deck, so I'm not in a hurry to be days and shit. Here's the Veil of Summer that, we're, that we knew about. I'm going to fire Force Pitching Ponder onto that. And, okay, we cleared the Doomsday. Okay, they're also a days deck, like I just said. But I think that's okay. I'm going to seek the Beast here. If they daze this, it's not a protective daze they have on a future win the game spell. Yeah, okay. You got me. They did have daze. Now I know two cards in their hand. One of them's a land. And brainstorm. Le rewarded for leaving up red with a Dragon's Rage Channeler. I'm going to put Brazen Borrower or Merc Titan Brazen Borrower in that order on top of my deck. If I have to daze this turn, I want to lose the Brazen Borrower and draw the Merc Tide. We've seen two Doomsdays go already. One's in exile from my force, one's in the graveyard. If they just land third Doomsday here, that could be dicey. But if they don't do exactly that, I'm pushing damage. Here I come. This is where they juke onto Endurance with all this green mana. I would not be a fan of that. Okay, I know Murktide's on top of my deck. I think I would like to try to keep things going here. All right, sorry, Murktide. You're gone. Oh, if they bow Master Jesus, I... Fucking walked right into this. I'm such a clown. Okay, that was really bad. I could have just not played a card and been fine. Now I have to keep the the Merktide on top and hope I find a land. Whoops. Hate that for me. Did not find a land. Losing my creatures. Okay, uh, put Merktide and Merktide back on top. And I'll just play them over the next two turns and hope that I'm not dead by then. That was embarrassing. If I simply don't play that Brainstorm, then they have two 1-1s, one and I don't care, and then I have a 7-7, seven seven or an 8-8. Eight eight. Okay, they get to get in for 5. I do have a big creature coming. I hope they cast something blue that I can blast right now for full value. Thoughtseize. Okay, Thoughtseize resolves. I hit the good cards. I could have dazed that Thoughtseize. Like, I know I'm not drawing a land next turn anyway, but then I don't have days. And it's not like it does anything. I'm just going full size on the first Merc here. Not even messing around. I could make it a couple points smaller than make the other one a couple points bigger. But I have them dead on board here with the one spell in my graveyard. Because this next card on top of my deck is also Merktide. Okay, let's find out right now if I win. Does Merktide fix everything? Grow the first one to exactly lethal. And we did it. Okay. I don't know if it was just a giant spew into the Bowmaster, but it certainly felt bad when I did it. Maybe just an abundance of caution, like thinking, how do I lose here? And Bowmaster would have come up. I said in the in the sideboarding that sometimes they bring in Bowmasters and stuff, and well, there it is. Gotta take my own advice. Okay. Unpunished, though. Let's roll. We're a few rounds into the video. Thanks for sticking with me. Friendly reminder that if you're still here and having fun, smash that subscribe button. And if you want to play what I'm playing, you can use my affiliate link for TCG Player to support the channel while you shop for cards. And you can try any deck anytime with a cardhoarder.com loan account for Magic Online. All these links are in the video description below. Now back to the league. On the draw in round four, I have a one lander with two lore intervealeds. We keep these. I'd probably keep this hand without the lore intervealeds, for being honest. I am going to lead on Dragon's Rage Channeler. The basic island to wasteland pipeline. Hope to dodge that. Prismatic Vista. We're safe. It did not shuffle. Draw a brainstorm. I could guarantee my land drop by revealing first and then brainstorming, or I could brainstorm like a normal Delver deck and just try to get paid. Wasteland, I'll I'll take it. It cycles Lorian revealed, guarantees a shuffle on the brainstorm. If I find another fetch land somewhere along the way, maybe I just send the wasteland. Okay. I did find a normal fetch land, which means I'll put back the Wasteland and one of the Merktides. Yeah, Merktide's a ways away here from being helpful. And I'll attack with my mighty 1-1 one, one creature. My plan here is to fetch C and cycle for Trop. Just get all of it. I don't think I want to brainstorm into open possible Hull Breacher or Bowmaster mana. Get the Trop, just round it all out here. 
four color soup. Speaking of Bowmaster, hello. I could bolt them and then play a giant Murktide, but that's under no protection. I don't know what their deck is yet. It could be like Azorius Control of some variety or Show and Tell. I'll just keep my options open. I got Bowmaster plus Brainstorm, Bolt Bowmaster, Bolt, Bolt Brainstorm, Shuffle, Brazen Borrower. There's stuff going on here. It's a fairy time Rabbler. Lines up famously poorly against Orcish Bowmaster. We'll see if they have the force. They do not. And do I want to brainstorm now too? Yeah, while the getting's good. I'll send one of these. Questing Druid. I don't think I need that. I got lots of creatures. That gives me Delirium. Let's put this to Fairy straight into the crap mode. Another Druid, another Bowmaster. I love all this. I don't need this Lorien revealed at this point. And I'll put Questing Druid on top. Now if they plus to fairy, I just attack it for five. If they minus to fairy, it dies on the spot, then they take three. Cool. A little plus to fairy strategy. Now some choices. If I bowmaster to fairy, it's at four. One, two, three, four, one, two. I can push some extra damage onto my opponent. Then I lose the element of surprise with the other one. I could just kill to fairy and shove Mark Tide here. Then I'm extending really hard into Supreme Verdict. I'm just gonna attack to fairy with all my stuff. Attack to Fairy Time Raveler for five. And passing the turn. Tundra. Hey, there's that shit. Not that I'm happy to see it, but also, like, played around it. Got him. End step. Questing Druid. Seek the Beast. Whatever this is. Seek that Beast. Yeah, they're Force of Willing that. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to Bowmaster. Keep the pressure up here. I got cards to cast. Thing. I think Teferi Time Raveler is one of the, the greatest casualties of Orcish Bowmaster. Like, kind of a low key casualty. Some stuff's very obvious. <laughs> There's a Teferi. Okay, I am not motivated to shove this Murktide into Teferi, but if they bounce Murktide, Teferi dies and my army gets bigger. I actually think this is fine. Just being strategic about how much I put into this Murktide. Because if they're going to bounce it, then I want it to come back bigger. And if they have Supreme Verdict or some other answer, I want the next one to be bigger. Narset, Parter of Veils, okay. That dies to Bolt. I'm going to let the ability resolve. They found a Lorien Revealed, sure. You're probably not interested in casting that one. Nope, cycled it away. Ooh, Volcanic Island. Suddenly, another color emerges. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, they're not dead, so I will Bolt the Narset. Another Bolt. Okay, so they were dead. <laughs> All good. Opponents at six. I have six damage in my hand, even if they Supreme Verdict here. If they cast a Lorien Revealed, I can bolt them in response, and they die to Bowmaster. Same with Brainstorm. There's the Teferi. Do I add the Brazen Borrow to the board here? Do I need to? I think I do. Well, I want to. I don't know if I need to. If they follow this Teferi up with Land Supreme Verdict from hand, they got me real good. But putting this lethal on the board through a bounce plus plow is nice. Okay, bounce my Bowmaster. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, a brainstorm. They're finding their way through it. Kinda, but not really. They would need plow and pyroblast. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're actually still dead, even if they plow pyroblast here. Because Bowmaster's good for. 2 damage, bolts 3, that's 5, and then the orc army would be plus 1. Okay, I'm going to wasteland their tundra. If you're going to terminus me, it has to happen now. So it's the plowshares, okay. That's gone, and then bowmaster. If they force a will, they die to the bolt. Okay, you're at 5, and I'm going to attack you for 5. Even if you have pyroblast, bolt finishes it off. Just... Solve the puzzle there in a hundred different ways. Okay, classic Jeskai control with Narsa and Teferi. We haven't seen a lot of this lately, and it's mostly because of Orcish Bowmaster. This deck is kind of resilient to days. It's really resilient against Wasteland, but you will find targets, especially now that we see three colors. Counterbalance can be like a little annoying on their cantrips and stuff. It's not, it's not as good as it is in Tempo Mirrors or against Combo. It might be better than days, though. We've seen Supreme Verdict, a card that is pretty annoying. 
Questing Druid's great in this matchup, though. They give you nothing but time to figure it all out. A in with my Pyroblasts, in with my Counterbalances, out with my... Most of my dazes and most of my baubles. I like everything that's a threat. I like that Bolt clears Planeswalkers. I could probably shave a Wasteland, but Wasteland Cycling Lorien Revealed is part of the mana base. Not like old Delver decks where Wasteland was just nothing. There's a bunch of colorless pips in this deck, and it cycles Lorien Revealed, so I think it's important as a land. Let's go. I'm going to keep my hand. It sees a bunch of cards, presents a threat. Island Ponder. Basic Island Ponder keep. They're doing my kind of magic over there. It did not shuffle. Send the pal in. When you have a threat on turn one, these control decks, or these control matchups always get better. And this build that only has the four threats on one, not very good at leveraging that. But I, it's nice that we opened on one. Rather than Ponder, I'm going to have these Seek the Beasts available to me. To start loading up right now. Basic Mountain. If they Blood Moon me, I'm in trouble. Snapcaster Mage targeting Ponder. Okay. I'm going to Seek the Beast in response to the Ponder, just in case I hit Daze. Is that right? No, I don't care about Dazing Ponder. I want them to Ponder not knowing what beasts I'm seeking. And Ponder, Snap Ponder, all on basic lands. This is my kind of legacy. They did not shuffle. End of turn, I'm going to Seek the Beast, and this gives me a Surveil Trigger. Another channeler. I actually like that because I can seek into it and I know I can cast it. Channeler Murktide Heart. Well, I'm not casting Murktide, that's for sure. A okay, other channeler, get in. And I think I just ponder here. Try to spike some insano delirium. Uh I do like that card, but I also like shredding. Pyroblast. That's an instant into the graveyard. I actually want to keep that card because it's just really good in the matchup. Oh no, every card here is good. Which of these would I like most in my hand right now? Probably Pyroblast with Bowmaster under it. I will not trade with a Snapcaster Mage. You can't make me do it. Murktide burns off forever. Brainstorm. That's not my fight with Pyroblast. It's going to be a Teferi or an Arset. That's where I want to put my energy. I'd prefer to be able to draw Orcish Bowmaster before I have to worry about any of this. Basic Planes in the mix now. Okay, Prismatic Ending. You got it. Okay, sick. I'm going to be able to cast Bowmaster with Pyroblast back up. Clear the Snapcaster Mage. Attack for some damage. Drew the Bowmaster. There was a long pause in my upkeep. Like they were thinking about doing something. Or maybe they just walked away. Hard to tell in Magic Online what actually is going on. Bowmaster. They don't have White Up to remove this. If they force it, they're going to the Shadow Realm. Cool. And I can Seek the Beast on the end step. I can Pyroblast a Planeswalker. Their draw engine is under some duress. They don't have double white for Supreme Verdict. They'll have to come up with that. All right, Florian Revealed will provide it if this grabs a Tundra, and it does. I just don't need to add more to this board, knowing that they have Verdict in their deck. There's the Tundra. It's the Fairy. Pyroblast that. I get a Surveil. Lightning Bolt. I'm actually going to keep that on top. If this Teferi gets through, it's a, a clean answer to it. They find a Narset at any point. It's nice to get those off the board. I have three card types in the graveyard. None of them are creature. No creature, no artifact. I'm going to play this extra land. And I can decide if I want a Questing Druid right now. And that was a good turn to Supreme Verdict, and they didn't do it. I think I'm going to attack with the creatures I have. Play the Druid that's on Layaway. And leave the Seek the Beast in my hand. Okay. They have a plow. Cast the questing druid. They got three cards left over there. Seek the beast now grows the existing druid. Prismatic ending DRC. You got it. I could seek the beast in response, get an extra surveil, but with that card gone, I think it's okay. Nar sets in. She activates. Seeking the beast is not drawing cards. It's just flipping them over. Fairy in the hand, okay. End step. I'm going to get a Volcanic Island and seek a Beast. This puts Lethal on Narset even if they Force of Will this. Which I think would be a super aggressive Force of Will, by the way. Oh, I hit two castable cards. It's never happened in my life. Wasteland. Hit your Tundra. Murktide Regent. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I should play the Druid. 
Okay, redrew it. I think I'm just kind of sprinting for the, the end of the game here. We don't leave one ponder in the graveyard. I got lots of damage here. We see the Teferi. Deck Narset with Questing Druid and opponent with Orc Army. Force blue card back up. Lightning Bolt. The tempo out. They would have the Supreme Verdict and they'd have to come up with a white source to do it. And I, they've had multiple turns to Supreme Verdict that they just haven't taken. Red Blast is fine. You're still dead next turn. The Fairy Time Raveler. Okay, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have them for Xaxes here if they have nothing. Okay, Teferi's gone. I'm going to go to my turn. Lightning Bolt you. Even found Orcish Boatmaster. If they like Emergency Brainstorm in response, they're also dead. Yeah! Double Questing Druid adds up quick. This card's pretty sick in matchups like this one. No doubt about it. On to the final round. For the absolute best Magic the Gathering apparel on the market, check out the link in the video description to coalesceapparel.shop and be sure to use the code BOSTONROLL for 10% off when you check out. I'm on the play in round number five. Positive records locked. Got that bread and butter 401 on the line. I'm keeping my hand and hoping that Orcish Bowmaster is good against my opponent's deck. Send it. This hand is just Grixis Delver. <laughs> I kind of like it. Though Questing Druid has done its, its work. We've seen both hands that are worse because they have Trop and Questing Druid just take over games. Kind of think we're on the, the net balance here. Ugh. Mox Diamond. Bowmaster unlikely to be good here, and I hate dazing Mox Diamonds because some percent of the time they just play another one and you lose on the spot. Okay, I would love to bolt this thing, so I will, but I'm going to leave my option to fetch available. I'm going to bolt it now, where if they try to do any, if they try to crop rotate to save it, daze sends them into hell. Oh yeah, please do it. Please do it. Yeah. Saves me from Wasteland. Puts all their junk in the graveyard. They're one land short of this being a 3-4, even if the days gets countered. That was a really good exchange. I'll take it. Oh, somebody kept a one lander. Okay. I was about to say I'd be pretty stoked to see Brazen Borrower here. Just bounce this Mox Diamond and they don't even play the game. Okay. I am pretty confident they don't have Wasteland. They probably would have played it out. It does tap for mana. Oh, they found a mana source. That's lucky. And I'm going to start applying pressure here. That start was terrifying, but we were able to find a really good use for days in a matchup where sometimes it's terrible. Ponder versus Brainstorm here. I kind of like all the cards in my hand. I'm going to ponder and see what I can shake loose. Oh, I like this Wasteland a lot. I'm going to leave Ponder on top of my deck, put Wasteland in my hand. Play the Volcanic Island and attack them for two. I don't know why they would ever fetch Dryad Arbor here, but if they do, they lose to Bowmaster. I think having the second one in, his re in reserve is worth more than the, the extra point of damage there. If this is Knight of the Reliquary, this will be a big thing I have to deal with. Ponder's on top of my deck. I could dig for a Force now. I have two Brazen Borrowers if this thing actually resolves. Five fives are tough to beat. I'm only seeing one new card right now, though. Yeah, I think having a bunch of looks at my two Brazen Borrowers is better than having... Well, I had four dazes, too. Or three dazes. Yeah, maybe I, I should have taken my Brainstorm there. Let's just find Brazen Borrower and go Unpunished. How about that? Yeah, <laughs> and Force Will, they were both there. Don't look at it, don't look at it, shuffle it away. Nope, 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 nope. I didn't see that. Okay, uh, Brainstorm... With the Underground Sea, the more Force of Wills just insulting me left and right here. Okay, I think I put back... This is tricky. I want to shuffle with Lorien Revealed, though I'm kind of close to casting Lorien Revealed. I'm actually just going to put Brainstorm Ponder back on top. And then I can attack with this Orc Army. If they block, they lose their Knight to Bolt. Yeah, they're not going to fall for that. And... I'm going to play Wasteland, just have this available. I can't waste their Forest, unfortunately. I could hit their Caracas. I don't think that helps me, though. I'm just going to float this in play and make sure I don't lose the Merit Lage out of nowhere. Where's this Saga? I could waste that before it knows how to do anything. Yeah, that card's actually a huge problem, and is going to stay a huge problem. Another crop rotation. I'll take the Force of Will on that. 
that represents Merit Lage if I don't. I'm drawing Ponder. How about Brazen Borrower? So that's not even really helpful anymore because they can just get Sejiri Step. Okay, in that case, I will put the Dragon's Rage Channeler into play with Brainstorm on top of my deck and see a full boat of fresh cards next turn. And they have Pajuka Bog in their deck, but if they tutor that up, then they have no forests or planes to keep knighting with. They are bogging. Okay. Playing around Murktide, a card that I do not have. Uh, this is so many of this card. I couldn't beat the first one. It hard, it's hardly fair. Yeah, I should have brainstormed in response to the first one. I wasn't counting days as in out. I was only counting force, and uh, this whole situation was avoidable. Okay, let's try to freshen up here and find some bangers. Brainstorm. I'm going to mill away this land. I don't want that. I need action. Okay, uh, not exactly the action I was looking for. I have to shuffle this, but I would also like a redraw. Is Lightning Bolt helpful anymore? I don't think it is. I'm going to fetch first. Volcanic Island, because I already knew I didn't want the card that was on top. Now I get to actually make selections in this Volk. Bobble you. Swords to Plowshare is great. Just when I was getting excited about having a flyer next turn. Oh, cool, it's gone. All right, well, that goes away. Yavamaya. Now everything's a forest. Bowmaster number three. Where is your Sylvan Library, opponent? Yeah, I'm going to hold back this Bowmaster. It's not adding to this board right now, and it might do something someday. Big Ponder. Let's go. This gives me Delirium. Bin the Bobble. Force of Will. Bowmaster number four, Lorian Reveal. These are all bad. I'm going to shuffle. Scalding Tarn. Okay, Flying Creature. Get in there. Are we connecting? All right, we're actually connecting. Good news, everybody. I think I hold this Scalding Tarn, though Lauren revealed it's a great draw. Okay, I'm actually going to play it out. I don't think they're in a position to start wasting me out. Oh, I'm just dead to Merit Lage. <laughs> uh, Brazen Borrower, where were you? Now nah, this was my fault. I did not play to my outs sufficiently. Okay. I could have even gotten Delirium second main and had a blocker yeah that was just bad okay this member comes in the borrowers are in the main which is one of the the big tools for this matchup lol big tool counterbalance not exactly thrilling but they have a pretty low land count and it could play i don't like null rod graph picker's cage is a maybe they're a zenith deck usually they are i think they are Bowmaster is actually pretty bad here. Not playing against a deck that draws cards other than maybe Sylvan Library. I want my some number of daisies and I want all my forces. And this is this is Merktide's house. Let's try to live in it. Okay, keep. Another DRC start. Off we go. Reclaimer. I can dismember that. Bolt is also currently live. I think I want to ponder, see if I come up with a bolt before I dismember. Dismember is good later. Oh, that's one of the best cards in the deck. Keep the Brazen Borrower. Land, Lorian Revealed, Borrower, Don't Shuffle, Dismember this Jackass. Mill the Lorian Revealed. Drawing a land next turn. That's weird. Lorian Revealed ended up in my graveyard, and then I'm getting a land. That's just like, if I cycled it, except it was free. There's a Saga. Powerful card. Mox Diamond, also a powerful card. I will force a Knight of the Reliquary so fast here. Life from the Loam, shit, we're so dead. I did not bring in Graveyard Hate. Uh, let me tell you about Ghost Quarter versus my deck. It's a good one. Ooh, maybe I'm supposed to Seek the Beast in the upkeep? Or I could do it now. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to Seek the Beast now. Ponder, I will leave that on top. That is a uh, very playable card. Land. Brainstorm versus Ponder. I'd rather Ponder here. Yeah, my hand already mostly has cards I want in it. All right, there's Murktide. Like I said, this is Murktide's house. We're all just trying to live in it. Counterbalance on top of my deck. If I'm able to mill, that's Delirium. Okay, the plan now is shove Murktide, force of will their answer to it, and make them dead. That's being stage. Okay, I can force of will a crop rotation. Counterbalance. Okay, Murktide. I could brainstorm first. That's probably better. 
See if I get Delirium for an attack. This also makes Murktide bigger. Uh, bolt into the graveyard. Land, DRC, Bowmaster. Well, it's not Bowmaster. That card sucks, as we've determined. I'm going to put back Bowmaster and Counterbalance. And I can actually play DRC and Murktide here. I left... Oops, I left two sorceries in there. <laughs> One of those should have been an instant. Okay, I'm going to pass. I can't attack into the... Or the saga, it makes a 3 3. This deck might have Maze of Ith in it. It's unclear how controlly they are versus how depth C they are. Construct, Shadow Spear, and bigger than that, Exploration. Oh, this is lands. I just completely misevaluated this as depths, or it's some hybrid thereof. The, yeah, they had Knight of the Reliquary and shit in game one, and now they have Exploration Loam. All right. They go from a matchup that's bad, and then they board to more controlly to be a matchup that's horrendous. Is that what we're doing here? Is that the score? Okay, I'm still bigger than this 6-6. Brazen Varrower plays on this board pretty well. Drawing the counterbalance. I would like to play Questing Druid and counterbalance. Is counterbalance better as Force of Will at this point? I don't think so. All right, team. Team triggers. Bowmaster sucks into the graveyard. Land sucks into the graveyard. And if I attack, they attack for six lifelink. And I think I just have to hold the fort for a turn. Hope this counterbalance does anything. They can tutor for dark depths, or they can just have it in their hand. Wasteland, dark depths. Wasteland checks wasteland. Okay, they're just taking out my black. That's Children's Edict off the board. I have the borrower, which is the most important thing here. They can take their time loaming up Wasteland and Ghost Quarter and just leaving me with nothing. Okay, I have Red Red available. Yeah, please just shove this in the main phase. Heck yeah. And they have to now that they Wastelanded on my turn. Or on their turn. Okay, I mean, they can just loam and present it every turn. This isn't even really an answer to anything. Okay, come on, blue card. I guess I should Brazen Borrower now to fix my draws. And try to find a blue card. If I can force the... What even is my plan here? Oh, that's a blue card. If I force the loam, that buys me a turn. Okay, they attack me for 11 and gain 6. So you go to 11, then you go to 17. And then you take 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I'm going to attack with Murktide. I'm not winning a game where I'm not attacking. And we just got to see if we can get a... A tempo situation going here. They probably dredge loam and then I force loam. They're attacking me with the construct. Both of them. I'm going to take both of them. I could block five, but I think I need to be on team tempo here. Here at 17, I'm at four. They're using expedition map. Fascinating. They're grabbing a maze of it and just shutting the, the walls down here. There's a saga. Okay. Keeping the, the beats coming. The way they played this turn, they can't present Merit Lage this turn. Counterbalance, please reveal it too. Get them for free. Force of Will's on top of my deck. You're getting back Wasteland, Depths, Stage, and if I draw Force of Will, I lose, so I better force here. Flying by the seat of our tempo-y little asses. Mill this force. Murktide, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. I think that does it. Okay. Now I have some stuff to balance here. Seven. 10, 13, 17. Oh, no, I just have Lethal. Never mind. Uh, Murktide could have been a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, I actually could not play Murktide here without losing Delirium. So, good thing that was Lethal. <laughs> Woof. Tempo life. Okay, uh, the Meltdowns come in here. I want some, some graveyard interaction. Graftinger's Cage is out. They are not actually doing that. Days is even worse than I thought it was, and now I'm on the draw. Force of Negation for loam stuff is pretty important. I can't just go completely psycho here on anti-graveyard stuff, because they do have Knight of the Reliquaries I have to beat as well. I don't think I want Null Rod, I just want Meltdowns. And I don't have any of my own loams, even though I am a green deck. And this is one thing about the build of this deck that I kind of like. It's really only green for the, the flavor text on Questing Druid. 
There's no carpet of flowers. There's no veil of summer. We're not pretending we're a green deck here. Though, you could if you wanted to. Okay, I think Daze is just completely out. Force Negation is in. Surgical Extraction's in. I might die with Force Negations in my hand, but I also might exile a Loam, and then I'm feeling good. Roro. This hand is real bad against Wasteland, but I'm here. We're doing it. It has its own Wasteland, which I like. Double Counterbalance, heck yeah. I hope I ever cast that card, and I hope it's good if I do. This Wasteland is both a functional Wasteland and a cast dismember, so I'm not just out of this if they Wasteland me here. They didn't do that anyway. This gives me mana to seek the beast. I would rather seek the beast than play a second DRC here. They're fetching. You're going to trade off a Dryad Arbor for this? I would take that all day. Nope. Okay. Not yet. What's going on here? Are you suddenly a Bowmaster deck? Samwise the Stouthearted. And I can force this. It keeps my DRC alive. And yeah, actually, I'm into that. I need card selection anyway. These counterbalances are bad. I'm actually going to bin this great brainstorm because I need questing druid to find land drops. Yeah, that Sam was a good trade and a land back in their hand. Caracas. Oh, they had the whole lock, the hard lock. Sylvan Library. Sure hate that card. I'm going to seek the beast in response, see if I can find an answer to it. Wasteland. This is not what I want here. As awkward as that is, I binned the... Hey, I found Force of Will. Ding. Force, pitching counterbalance, that's why we do that. And I found the land. Okay. Stay dedicated to a cause. You'll get there eventually. Life lessons here. Scalding Tarn. Do I think Wasteland on Caracas is the place to put this? Do I save this down the road and I can double spell here? I think I double spell here. Tropical Island. Questing Beast. Not Questing Beast. Questing Druid who does pay homage to Questing Beast. If you look at the art of this, his staff is a little three-headed monster thing. Very clearly an homage to Questing Beast. And that is the beast he's seeking. It's a little story. Get it? Nothing I can do with this Lorien Revealed. You can't cycle that from Exile. Yavamaya. I can dismember an Endurance, which is something that might jump out at me here. Lorien Revealed is a sorcery for my graveyard. I guess I will cycle it. No, I'll wait. If they do have Endurance. No, I am just going to cycle it. Okay, they do have Endurance. I'm going to let the trigger resolve. Then I'm going to let my search resolve. And then I'm going to cast Endurance, losing two life for the pleasure. Black, colorless, two life. The beast gets to seek and the DRC's trigger. Brainstorm. Yeah, I, I don't think I can afford to send a cantrip in a spot like this. And I'm going to Wasteland the Yavimaya now. They can crop rotate off of this Plains. Okay, Sword of Posture is what they had, not crop rotation. Okay, here we go. Back to very little, but they also have very little. If they do something like Loam here, I'm in trouble. Or what is this? Green Sazina for three, that sucks ass. Are you going to Leovold the Brainstorm I just put on top? Okay, it's Knight of the Reliquary. This is a card that I theoretically have answers to. I'm about to get five looks at Brazen Borrower. Let's send it. Orcish Bowmaster sucks. Lightning Bolt sucks. Come on, Brazen B, we did it. Okay. Put back Dragon's Reach Channeler and Force of Will. Petty Theft. And by we did it, I mean we're not dead instantly. We're just dead several turns from now instead. I'm just milling everything. All these cards are bad. Still not Delirium. And the reason I don't have Delirium is because I didn't Wasteland them first. Like, if I just Wasteland their Yavimaya first last turn, the sorcery is what's missing. That this could have been a six-point attack. Okay, I, I, I could have sequenced this game a lot better to try to bait the Endurance earlier, get a another card type in the bin. Wasting my red, a good call. Oh no, Sam. Okay, so they got me in the Sam lock. I need to draw a Ponder right now and hit them in two turns. Okay, Ponder's the best draw on my deck. What else is new? Welcome to the Boston Rule channel. Ponder, 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 Ponder. Of course it will. Okay, uh, we've lost this game. We're not literally dead, but they have Knight of the Reliquary in hand. They could start tutoring stuff. What does this game actually look like? Okay, I guess I can't actually concede yet. 
Ponder makes it a two turn clock, but now they're now they have Bajuka Bog active for the rest of the game. No, I'm good. We don't need to keep doing this. Okay, a 3 1 record. We lost to a deck tailor made to defeat our deck, and we lost to a Lauren, which is super cool. And we beat a bunch of other decks. Questing Druid, Seeking the Beast felt really good. Orcish Bowmaster felt really good. I kind of am sold on this, at least over any of the pure rug decks. I'm not sure if Questing Druid is better than the, the smooth operation of pure Grixis Delver, but I do like four color more than I like rug. That's for sure. Like I said in one of the rounds when it came up, we're not really using the green at all. If you want to sideboard a Light from the Loam or a Carpet of Flowers or a Veil of Summer or any of these dope green cards that exist, those are certainly things you can do. Obviously, the further you stretch into color number four, the harder it becomes to fire on all cylinders with that. But at the same time, it might be worth considering based on your metagame. We basically had nothing for that lands deck in the last round. Like one dismember out of the sideboard. That's not going to be enough to beat a deck like that. Only three wastelands in this list too. Kind of a concession to needing a bunch of colored sources. Which makes you weaker against depths decks. And there's, there's some like tuning to figure out here. But I do actually respect this archetype. After I played the Rug Beans deck, I was just like, this ain't it. And when I played the Rug Questing Druid deck, I was like, this is pretty good, but feels like something's missing. And maybe just Orcish Bowmaster is what was missing. I'm fairly confident I'll be playing a deck with Bowmaster and Wasteland in it for Eternal Weekend at this point. To be determined what the other 53, 52 cards in the deck are going to be. But these two cards are both very good right now in the format. And any shell that's using them is worth a look. Everybody, thanks for watching. Doom DG, thank you for clearing the runway for me to try this deck. Everyone be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Patreon. I'll see you next time.